Not very tech savvy, but really want a robot mower? Well, Yard Care sponsored the video by sending me the M800 Plus and said anyone, even my grandma, could figure it out. You be the judge. Let's get to the unboxing. Mm. Ta-da! Yard Care M800 Plus. Oh yeah! If you're looking to never mow again, what makes the uh, robotic lawnmower world so special is it mows so you don't have to. And even if it runs out of battery, it'll take itself back to the charger and then resume the mowing task where it left off. The M800 Plus comes as a complete kit. You get the charging station and of course, you get the M800 Plus. Let's talk about what Yard Care is promising us about the M800 Plus. It's rated to cut up to 8,600 square feet and comes complete with seven inch cutting deck. Heights of cut that range from 0.8 inches up to 2.4 inches and adjustable on the mower with the top knob. The M800 Plus runs about 100 minutes per charge. Navigation is GPS plus 3D vision technology, which includes a 135 degree wide angle AI camera. The technology does not require boundary wires, no RTK antenna, and surprisingly, no mapping required. Now, as far as safety goes, the M800 Plus comes complete with an emergency stop button, a rain gauge, GPS location monitoring, as well as obstacle avoidance with the camera trained to spot 150 plus obstacles. The mower can also handle up to about a 20 degree slope. This is gonna be interesting to jump into. Let's get to the installation. As far as it's looking, this might just be my easiest installation yet, so we'll see. All we have to do is place the base station in a flat area bordering the grass. I've got to put the machine on the base station, download the software, and then we're ready to rock and roll. Installation's done, only one thing left to do, that's start the mow. Now, what I've learned about the M800 Plus is at its core, it's a very simple machine. It has three mowing modes, mow, random, and spiral. When you select mow, the mower runs through Yard Care's standard sequence. It starts with 40 minutes of ordered mowing where it moves in straight, parallel lines similar to a traditional mower pattern. After that, it automatically switches to unordered or random mowing for another 60 minutes to fill in the missed spots. Now, random mode can also be selected manually. In this mode, the mower runs entirely in an unpredictable pattern for up to 100 minutes, changing directions frequently to cover space in a less structured way. Spiral mode can be started anytime. It's useful when you spot an area that needs extra attention. The mower begins mowing in a tight spiral pattern, gradually expanding outward until the section is fully covered. And look at these stripes. Actually did pretty good, about a thousand square feet in the same lawn mowing pattern. Now, as for cut quality, it's good, but it's important to note, this is a maintenance mower. It's best to set the height of cut by mowing your lawn one last time before using this mower. This mower was not meant to cut large amounts of grass off the top. It's meant to be run about three to five times per week as a mulching mower, taking small bits off the top. And truth be told, I have had the best luck running it daily. Now the benefit is you won't be bagging your grass clippings and mulching is also very beneficial for the grass. Now, as far as the application goes, there's not a lot to it. It is a very, very basic setup. The homepage of the mower lets you choose the type of mowing sequence that you want, whether it be random and or spiral. And you can also start or stop the mow. Now in the settings option in the upper right hand corner, I can schedule out my mow, check my Wi-Fi settings, rain settings, GPS settings, and also OTA firmware updates. But let's get back to the scheduling portion of it. Scheduling is actually done on a time basis of how many hours you want to run per day. So you program the mower to run for a specified amount of hours throughout the day to cover the area that it's in. Now, after mowing a few times, I was able to figure out that my 1500 square foot zone needed about two hours to complete the mow. This mower runs a little bit slower, but it also has good cut quality. I think that that's part of the reason for it. So considering recharge times, I have my schedule set to run for about four hours per day to include the recharge times. Now I've had the mower for about three weeks now. And in the beginning, I felt like it was missing large portions of the lawn. 
So let me kind of explain to you how this mower works. It's default mode. It is going to run like a traditional lawn pattern for about 40 minutes at a time. Then for the additional 60 minutes, it kind of runs in random sequences, but they're also very straight lines to make sure that it picks up what it misses. So in the first few days when it was missing so much, I figured out that I wasn't mowing for long enough. So now that I've got my schedule set for four hours per day, it gets about 95 to 98% of everything. So what I've decided to do is just set the schedule for daily and I find that it's got really nice clean edges and you can see my lawn actually looks really, really happy. There's not a lot to be upset about. Let's play a game, shall we? The Obstacle Avoidance Challenge. We take the M800 Plus and have it avoid normal household items that range from a golf club holder, helmet, pop can, even a teeny tiny snake. Now the point of the obstacle avoidance challenge is just to see how far we can test the machine and get it to go. Some of our smallest items are going to be these sunglasses, a kendama, and even this vacuum attachment. This machine is impressive. Let's talk about the obstacle avoidance and how it works. And the machine has a database of different objects of different color, shapes, texture, sizes, and the machine has to recognize whether it's grass, whether it's an obstacle, whether it has to avoid it, or whether it's gonna go up and over it. Now, I dare say that the M800 Plus is now in my top two obstacle avoidance favorites. Yes, believe it or not, this machine is in my top two favorites. So let me explain. We got all the way down to this little Roadrunner toy that is this big, but we also got flat items like this fidget puzzle that is very thin and flat, and it's about three and a half, maybe four inches wide, and also obstacles like the sunglasses. Now where it failed, believe it or not, is this snake that we had coiled in the grass. Now I'm sure by the time this video publishes, they're gonna update the database to the point where even this is gonna be fine. But anytime you can get these robotic mowers to view obstacles and understand that they have to avoid them that are below two and a half, three inches in size, you're doing really well. So what this means is if you have a yard that's just full of scattered items, it's gonna be a good choice for you. Let's get into my favorite part of the video, which is going over the pros and the cons of owning the M800 Plus. Now, after running this for about three weeks now, first thing that stood out is how well it hugs and understands the boundaries. Now, for a mower that doesn't use antennas, it doesn't use wires, I'm pretty impressed. But with that said, it does rely heavily on these boundaries being clear. I have a few areas, grass creeps over, objects kind of pile up like the plants coming over, it does get confused and crosses into where it's not supposed to. However, I will say this, obstacle avoidance was probably the biggest surprise. It handled toys and objects, even an odd shaped in the yard, no problems. That's not something that I expected at this price point. Now at the same time, the mower doesn't always stick to a perfect traditional mowing pattern, but it seems like it kept the linear pattern better after I ran the obstacle avoidance challenge. Matter of fact, this morning, it did 90% of my front yard like a traditional lawnmower pattern. Now I think there's some value in how simple this mower is. You don't have to map an area and you can literally carry it to another enclosed space, even a neighbor's yard and just let it run. So for people that are less tech capable, this could be a great option. Now I will say a couple of times over the last three weeks, the mower wasn't able to make it back to the charging station. Part of that I feel like is my fault because I didn't have the charging station fully in the grass. Not a deal breaker, but something that I noticed. And while it's great during the day, the AI camera system means that no night mowing. That's just part of how the technology works. But overall, its strongest feature is the obstacle avoidance. And for the price, 
is performing above expectations. Now there's a few trade-offs, but nothing unexpected once you understand how it's designed to work and its price category. Now I've talked to a lot of people about robot mowers and one interesting concern that I run into on a regular basis is people don't want to leave a fence open for the robot mower to pass through. So this type of robot somewhat solves that concern. You can carry this unit to whatever grass locked area that you want and let it run for a few hours and take it back to the charger whenever you want. Considering you never have to map an area if I want to carry this to my neighbor's house and just let it run for a few hours, this type of setup is great for enclosed spaces or spaces that have clear boundaries. So earlier I made the comment that even my grandmother could use this machine. Ready? Now watch him. Wait, he's gonna show you. And realistically, I feel like its target market is for that person that doesn't want to be bothered with a billion different options programming a mower and has the simplicity of just putting it in the cut and letting it go. But let's talk about when things go wrong. Well, what I found is, is when this did end up inside the planter area, or let's say that it didn't find the charging station, it was really as simple as just rebooting the machine, hitting the mow button or the stop button on the application and just hitting mow again. It was very, very easy. So yes, I do feel like it could be a fantastic option for anybody with enclosed spaces. In a sea of robotic mowers, the Arcare M800 Plus has found its footing. It is built for people who want that simple, wire-free mowing experience that can handle enclosed spaces with clear boundaries. Now we ran it through the test. You've seen what it can do. If you wanna learn more, I'll drop a link down in the description down below. And as per the usual guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down in the comments down below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Until next time guys, it's Pest and Lawn, JJ. We're slaying lawns.